Natural History Museum of Utah is offering something no other museum in Utah provides. ABC 4's Courtney Johns has more on the new feature and how this will change how so many people experience the museum. The Natural History Museum of Utah is taking audio tours to a whole new level using something called IRA that will allow people who may not be able to see the exhibits a whole new way to appreciate what this museum has to offer. And do you need descriptions as you're going around or are we just kind of navigating? The app IRA gives Everett Bacon the opportunity to explore on his own. They can see through your camera and they give you visual information. They tell you uh, how to navigate uh, throughout a building, uh, when to turn, when to uh, stop, when to look for a sign. And now more people like Everett can use it for free anytime they visit the Natural History Museum. There will be a puck on this case here oh, on your cool. right. Oh. This, coupled with the audio tour pucks, Air Dance Chief Jack Kensey Jr allow more people the opportunity to immerse themselves in the exhibits. We worked with a professional descriptive tour writer to convert information where, you know, one of the scientists may say, take a look at this, and then, the, and then we would add a visual description so that a, a, a person who ha is blind or has low vision can understand what the scientist is referring to. Right now, the tours are available in English and Spanish, but the museum plans to add six more languages, saying the mission is to create a place the entire community feels welcome. So it's a rabbit fur blanket. That's pretty cool. But the coolest part for Everett is the freedom he has to explore. I can actually come up here anytime I want and, and just enjoy a nice afternoon in a museum or, uh, or an evening or something like that and, and just really experience the beauty and the art and the history that this place brings. These audio tours are connected to a server which will collect information so that the museum can figure out which sites are the most popular, which they say in turn will allow them to create even better exhibits. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News. Coming up.